click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. We are right now learning about the design aspects of lip springs. In today's session, we are going to look at the second numerical of design of lip spring. Students, the problem statement is there on the screen. It says that design is semi elliptical multi lip spring where the factors are given two extra full length leaves are given, 10 graduated length leaves are given, where master leaf is also included. Then the length center to center length is given 1.2 meter we know that center to center length is designated by two times the l the material is also specified which is the alloy of silicon and molybdenum with the stainless steel it further has given the yield property of their material and the young's modulus Factor of safety is also specified in this particular example, which is 2.5 and the maximum amount of force that is going to act on the given spring or spring mechanism is 30 kN. The problem statement in our case is quite simple and very lenient. We have been given value of P is equal to 30 kN and therefore P becomes 15 kN. Now this is the amount of force that is going to act on each eye. Further we have been given center to center length and therefore L factor becomes 0.6 meter. We also have been given the number of graduated lips and full length lips. So graduated level are 10 and full length are just 2 and therefore the total number becomes 12. With this factor, let's proceed. We already know a relation, empirical relation where the bending stress is equated with this particular factor and therefore sigma b is equal to 6 times 15 kN into the length Point six meter number of leaves now these are the dimensions and the factors are unknown so that's why we'll club them together for the further analysis let's solve this particular expression and therefore we get sigma b is equal to so we get the calculation equal to Somehow, we have been specified the material and we already know that the value of the allowable stress will be based on the yield stress divided by the factor of safety. Yield stress specified in our case is with the factor of safety 2.5 and hence allowable value of bending stress comes out to be 600 newton per millimeter square now substituting this value in the given expression we get bt square is equal to 7500 now with this example we have to go for the trial and error method or we have to select a standard width of the lip spring Again in PhD data book, if you go through the description, there are standard values that we can assume. So let B is equal to 60 millimeter, which is one of the standard values of the width of a leaf. After substituting this value in the previous expression, we'll get the value of T is equal to somewhere around 11.18 millimeter. Let us conclude the preferred value is equal to millimeter. Here for, for the cross section will be width 60 by thickness 12. 
because the length factor doesn't come into picture because the leaves are of different lengths. The further part is the actual deflection that the spring is going to undergo is equal to value in Newton per millimeter square. Number of full length R2 and number of graduated R10. After evaluating this expression, we will get delta is equal to somewhere around 69.68 millimeter. And there we have concluded with the safe design of this particular spring. So let me quickly summarize the design aspects or design values where initial thickness was 12 millimeter, the width B assume was 60 millimeter, and the deflection delta occurred was 69.68 millimeter. So there we conclude with the same design of the given spring. For the next session, we'll be starting with module number four, where we'll be dealing with different aspects. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.